is the host of USA Network's NFL Football Fanatic, the host of The Voice in Australia, a Scottish-born uh, Australian, Darren McMullen. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. How so, are you? I am great. So uh, just introducing you to those uh, who may not know your work in Australia. Mm -hmm. So you do The Voice in Australia. This, you're the Carson Daly of that, uh, of that or Car pardon me, Carson Daly is the Darren McMullen? <laughs> That's right. Uh, is that That's, the way you it got works? that right. Is yeah. that the way it works? I did The Voice. I don't do The Voice anymore. Okay. So I moved to Australia as a teacher teenager and, and then ended up getting in TV hosting uh, in my 20s. And no kidding. Did, I started with MTV, actually, like Carson Daly, I guess. I okay. did the kind of the TRL version in Australia. Uh, it was called The Lair. Uh, and then did kind of Entertainment Tonight style shows and mm -hmm. Minute to Win It, if you remember that show that Guy sure. Fieri did here. I did that in, uh, in Australia. And then I also did that in the UK. Mm -hmm. Did a talk show for ITV, an Olympic sports-based talk show. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and a kind of big shiny floor ma magic show called The Magicians, which was kind of like dancing with the stars, but with magicians. So right. famous magicians with celebrity guests. You and know, and when I did SportsCenter for seven years, we would be uh, talking, you know, having fun and making pop culture references and, and, and on occasion poking a little bit of fun at people. <laughs> and then we caught wind of the way that Australian sports presenters would talk about sports down there. And it made us blush <laughs> how harsh it can possibly be and how much fun they make of some of the athletes and some of the moments down there. I mean, yeah. it, it, it did any of that rub off on you? I think he comes with that kind of sarcastic kind oh of banter. Gosh. Yeah. Oh, they don't my hold back God. at all. No. Even on the news, you'll have news anchors yeah. having a dig at some story they just yeah. kind of presented on serious stories sometimes. But right. that's a, that Aussie larrikin. Um, sensibility and quite like similar that. to the Scottish as well that way they, they like a, that okay. friendly banter it's all friendly though you know right so now you come up with the idea of like hey I'd like to go uh, into the world of the NFL and just throw myself in and yeah. as a blank slate right seems like a the, like the scam of the century doesn't it here's yeah. a way to get all access passes and meet all the best players in the league and travel the country mm -hmm. for free and make a TV show about it. Mm -hmm. Scam of the century. Right. So how many teams have you visited with already? We, we visited. Uh, the, the idea was really, um, I, I brought my girlfriend back. She's an American. She's from Detroit to mm -hmm. Scotland for the first time. And she was just blown away by the countryside, by where I went to school, the fact we had castles and the greens <laughs> and the whole bit. And I re-fell in love with my country through okay. seeing it okay. through her eyes. And I thought, you know what? What a, what a great way to approach this show. You know, sometimes you really don't know what you have because you take it for granted until you see it with an outsider's eye. So mm -hmm. this football fanatic was a love story of mine to America. I grew up as a young kid watching NFL football, fell in love with America, knew I wanted to live there one day, and now I do. But I never had a team. I just loved the game. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to travel this amazing country. I'm going to see all 32 teams, learn about the history, the rituals, the superstitions, the cities that encapsulate them, the different foods they eat, and... Based on that, mm -hmm. I'm going to pick a team that, that melds well with my sensibilities. I don't have to pick a team based on who my family supports like I would in Scotland. Otherwise, I'd get kicked out and the doors would be sure. changed. Right. I don't have to pick a team based on geography because when I came up with a show, there wasn't a team in L.A. and I lived in L.A. So now there's two. Now there's two, <laughs> but I've already, you know, yeah. went on this mission. Now I have to finish it. Sure. I, I need to finish it. And, and I really want to pick a team with passionate fans. I hate fair weather fans. I love real red-blooded fans or they, mm -hmm. they bleed the color of their team you know the, the guys that stay to the final whistle even if they're down sure the guys that are always there because i went through that in scotland you know we we've been my team lost for like, dramatically for nine years it was just a, a really sad state of affairs but they came back and and those wins are so much tastier it's like you you said you're a jets fan can yes. you imagine the jets actually win something no, how good that's gonna be see now it's i mean we'll all be dead by then but you know <laughs> it would be great see now it's difficult for me to handle that coming from somebody from outside of this country who says that the person close to you in your life is a Lions fan. Yeah. It's kind of tough to swallow. That's a bitter <laughs> pill right now, Darren. I'm going to be honest with you. But it's fair. It's fair. So of the eight teams that you've seen so far, I mm -hmm. think I've got the list of them here, right? Atlanta yeah. and Dallas, mm -hmm. Green Bay and Seattle, yeah. Giants and Eagles, Chiefs and Rams. That's right. I mean, yeah. you want to talk about some of the loudest buildings you're talking about, Seattle and Kansas City, those are loud. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about passionate fan bases. Uh, Packers are mentioned up there with the Chiefs, Seahawks with the 12s. Philly. Philly as well, my next gosh, level. right? Yeah, next level. Uh, so which one, so far, if you had to choose one yeah. of the eight that you, as a NFL 
football fanatic, which one would you put your marker on right now? There's is, no way I'm answering that question leader. right now. Why? Because you got to watch the show, Reg. That's that's the whole point in the show. Okay. And you know, even you know this the, the show that air, this aired already was Dallas and Atlanta. Yes. And I've had abusive text messages from people in Philly going, "Not going to lie, it made me vomit." seeing you with a Cowboys jersey on. Yeah. I don't know if I can make it to the to the, the the Philly episode. I said, look, it's a bit like watching your girlfriend sleep with someone else. I get it. Don't watch anything until we come to Philadelphia. Right. But I had to I had to walk a mile in a fan's shoes. You know, it was a fully interactive experience. Okay. Uh, so that's what I wanted to do. So I'm going to enjoy week in, week out. I do have my I, I do have ones I am leaning towards, but mm -hmm. the, the mission I, I the goal is to see all thirty two before I pick. All right, so what's the best food? The, the best food, I would yes. say Kansas City barbecue, knocked my socks off. Everybody would rave about Kansas City barbecue. I'm like, well, I live in Australia. They're the barbecue kings. That's I mean, how, how good can that be? <laughs> you know, that's like right. they, they do their breakfast, lunch, and dinner on yeah. barbecues in Australia. Yeah, in the rain, snow, sun, whatever. Right. Didn't we see Crocodile Dundee 30 years ago about putting shrimps on it in actual shrimps, barbie? Shrimps Damn on it. the barbie, which right. is bizarre because they actually don't call them shrimps. <laughs> in Australia, they call them prawns. But anyway. Okay, yeah. got it. Yeah. So nice. I went, I, the first time I, I had a bite of those ribs and I was like, Oh my, it was like my first drink of beer. I was like, wow, it was a whole new world just opened up All in right, front so of me. All right, so the Chiefs get the check Chiefs, mark there. They get that. They okay. get absolutely that. I would say for just raw passion, mm -hmm. it would have to be Philly fans. I've never that that level of intensity they show for their their team, I haven't witnessed outside of Scotland. You know, in Scotland, you know, we we can't even go into the ground at the same end of the city. Mm -hmm. So when the, the the derbies happen, Celtic and Rangers in Glasgow, mm -hmm. one side of the city is, you know, it's, it's cut off by um, mounted police. And one, one set of fans has to come in one side of the city, other side for the other fans, and we're segregated by fences and rows and rows of police. So I'm used to that level of intensity. Wow. But I, I, I witnessed that a bit with the, with the Philly fans. But it's funny, wherever you go around the country, the teams didn't agree on much, but one thing all the teams did agree on was, oh, Philly fans, they're the worst. <laughs> Be careful when you go there. <laughs> and then you go there, and you're like, you guys aren't that bad. And it's like, yeah, everyone gives us a hard time because we threw snowballs at Santa Claus. In the late like, 60s, yeah, by the way. Yeah, but Santa Claus wears red and white. Sorry, Santa, you missed the most important rule. You don't wear red to a Philadelphia Eagles game. There you go. You just don't. No, Wear your, your green suit, you'd be fine. All right, so the Eagles get the check mark there. Yeah. Which game did you see that was the best game? Because this is all shot this season, Yeah, right? it, was okay. it was. It was Green Bay. Uh, who were they playing? God, you get so caught up in the in the, the actual, the fandom. Was Aaron Rodgers active at the time? Yeah, yeah, okay. it was It was, It was. was week two. Who did, they, who, did they, who did they play week two? They played, well, week two they were in Atlanta. I know that, but Seahawks. Oh, so week, is, week, three, week three, sorry. Week, week one they opened against Seattle, and then Cincinnati was a really intense game. It was. It went on. to playoffs. It went, it went to overtime. Yes, Cincinnati. That was the game we went to see. It was, yes, Cincinnati, Cincinnati Bengals. Yes. Uh, that was that was incredible because we'd just come from Cowboys Giants in Dallas. Yeah. Charlotte Jones uh, giving me the tour, yeah, throwing no, balls with Dak Prescott see, and Coach Garrett. That's something that nobody else from Scotland just saying, hey, I want to see what the Cowboys are locker going to get. You went yeah. straight up the flow chart, And man. you know the, the weird thing about that is, Rich, I grew up, in Scotland, loving NFL, and asked Santa for a football, an, mm -hmm. an American football for Christmas. And of course I got it, and none of my friends knew what that was, because it wasn't, and we're like, we're not playing, what is that? It's not round, we can't play with that. Right. So I was quite often seen in my backyard, being my own wide receiver and quarterback. Mm -hmm. And there I was an MVP, week in, week out. I thought, you know what, if I was an American, I would be a quarterback for sure. Mm -hmm. And I happened to mention that to Coach Garrett. And he goes, well, why don't you throw it with this guy, Dak Prescott? I'll see what you got. I'll give you some. I'll see if you've got what it takes. I'm with, like, really? With Dak Prescott? Yeah. So the first time I ever had somebody to throw the ball back, Jeez. it was Dak Prescott, and it turns out not such a good quarterback. After all. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped. He threw me a bullet. I dropped it, uh, and then I'm nervous, you know. So like I'm like you know shaking a bit and trying to throw yeah. it, throwing like a, a, a four year old kid in America would probably throw. That's great. And and Coach Garrett, Charlotte Jones is in a stare. It's going okay. We need to start from scratch. What is going on here? I'm like, well, I don't know. In my backyard, I was good. 
That's right. You know, I know. This is a pretty intense situation you just put me in. Well, that's great, man. Uh, it's uh, it, on USA uh, on Monday nights. The next one, again, is going to be uh, back-to-back episodes Mondays at 11 and 11.30 mm. p.m. Eastern, the Packers and the Seahawks. Uh, and then uh, the uh, runs up to the Super Bowl. The uh, next episode after that, Giants and Eagles, by the uh, and then the Chiefs and the Rams. Yeah. Look forward to it. And then, uh, and then when's the episode with the Scottish Claymores? When is that one? <laughs> you know, never went to, never never went the, to the World League of America. American Never. Football, it was you? only American football for me all, all the way. Okay. Never really liked soccer much growing up. Okay. American sports just, I don't know, resonated with me. I Got think it. this was my spiritual home. I well, had to be here. Darren, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having Let me. Let us know who you pick eventually, okay? Thank you. You got it, Darren. I want to drag this out for a few more years first, though. Let's do yeah, it. So I'm going to do all 32. Okay. Three more seasons to come. Good yeah. luck with. Good luck uh, to you on that. Darren, Thank you. At Darren McMullen on Twitter. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.